Hello. Hello. Yeah? You're drinking and talking at the same time. Bye. <laughs> you will be shot. Hello. Hello. All right, so we hey have there. another mission. Hey there. I mean, What's I know. Big idea? I'm not doing Jesus. Hello. Calm down. Hello. All right, so I know what they're doing here Hello. now. Jesus Christ, Good shut up. Hello. 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 How are you? I think yes? this is, uh, this is just gonna be. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. 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 Morning. Wait, weren't you downstairs? Yeah. How'd you get up here so far? Hello. God. Hello. Shut Hello. Why did they all Morning. sound the same? Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm gonna solve a mystery that's been in the making for 12 years. So someone wondered how they got all these beds up here. I don't know how they got all them beds here, but then I met a man. He was sitting on a I corner. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Is that where the shower is? What do you need? I need a shower. Yes. All right, I'm gonna get the key for the shower, and then I'm gonna get shot at. I'll see you later. That's where they keep the booze. Morning. Hey, it's Guavo Chave. That's not his name. Is this where the booze is? Hey, hey there, Technician Arthurs. Oh, hi there. I heard you had a visitor. Welcome. Can you tell me about what you do here? Oh, yes, of course. Principally, I take after the robot and other equipment. As we have seven types of authorization required, I have two other miles just the equipment accordingly. Most of the stuff is on the legs, of course, so there's quite a bit of work to keep doing it all the running. He said principally. Why? What else do you do? <laughs> oh, well, you must understand this kind of work is exactly taxable, but it gets quite boring, to be honest. Short equipment is crap and falling apart and pain in the ass, but I don't know trees. Main problem is just getting apart, so I like to use my downtime to get some projects of my own. Chemistry has become a main interest lately, a subject I never had time to study in depth in the past. You ever watched Doctor Who? You see, my principal interest with robotics and electronics never really got time to think about anything else. I think I got a new session in my brain way dealing with tedium in this place, and I'm much like his intellectual stimulation around here. Command is the only guy in the place where we're talking to. He's like, what's up, buddy? Me and Preston may no technology, but at least when no one talks sometimes. Oh, I'm really on the sticking room with the subject. Well, I made a few injury and breakthroughs. So make sure one rest so go science was out there. What's that doing? Main thing home me back there. The whole good quality chemicals about it. That's just some people find them. You have a savage with never been about and appreciate value. He's been out of some homes being able to produce some value in the final consumer. What did you just say? Some floor cleaner here I've not seen before. I didn't used to you. Oh, so what's your background? Energy. That's an interesting pistol. I've not seen anything like it before. So where do you get your chemical supplies? All right. Un momento. So where do you get your chemical supplies? I was in now, some friends of mine might hang on with some of my hands over here. Troubles that supplies dried up like a little lake is dried up with some woods. I did hear recently one of the recon teams managed to put a positive one of the known ones before I gave it some stuff, but it's all gone quiet on that front. The wisdom front. Why'd you give you hope? Oh, well, by all accounts, they found high school over there. Now, that's a place where it might be some chemical spots. Kids all mixing stuff and getting all dirty. Since the place has been closed off since the wall, it shouldn't have been cleaned out, but, you know, I was hoping Color Wheel found over there, but other said I heard anything more about it. I suppose you're unable to go over there yourself. Well, I've known about it, and Jim will probably let me go over and ask. Well, to be honest with you, I'm not a fighter. I'm all due to listen to Foo Fighters. That goes my hero. There's no way Jim could spare some time to go with me, and I really don't think I'm making for us down low. I get stabbed by no kids scream, Yo, get stabbed. Give me a computer or lab, and I'll have it take on the world. Give me a gun or well, I'll piss my pants and I'll get all wet. I don't mind taking you over there. I can handle myself in a fight. I don't want to take you over there. I'll take you over there. Anyone that gets in our way, it gets vaporized. Come with me. 
If you want to live, I can take you down. I can take down anyone that tries that. I don't mind taking you over there. I can handle myself in a fight. We're all sort of feels I will do my side. Tell you what, ask a man Brian, so you say it's okay, it's great. If it'd be good out for us, I'll get some fresh air, go, mm, birds. How, how's this? Some floor cleaner I've not seen. Any use to you? Well, let's take a look. No more than ever trying to strike it from mix. Quite not nice stirring saying though. So what's your background? Oh, well, you know, see, well, not from around Frio. Originally, I grew up north of the capital wasteland. Jim, that's to say, come in, back, recruit me in town. Oh, 15 years ago. So we not go back a long way. Mm. Well, he told me about town, and they seemed awful some better. I've been doing had the same, so I joined. I was like, I'll join you guys. You guys seem cool. Since I worked on number of bond projects, there was a whole lot of made from. I was more six so I went town, and they were like, that was a great job. Then there was town's radio network, which I pretty much single handedly upgraded and got functioning properly. That was a good time, too. We had a party. I wouldn't believe the quality of some of the people they had in that so called technical department. Well, maybe you want, you know, as much as knuckle draggers. I tell you, same as some of them knuckle draggers. Now it's been higher than that, and you know, a bunch Douchebags. Giving them that dude technical department did have a slightly high class manga dragon. They at least were able to read and write. Got some pants on some pants. Don't get me wrong, getting them mongers enough to them, Tom Tass, say, match up and pro that drama, man. Stanley and so insist don't have enough time left to wait for that, so I am riding ABC. Time I just help get out of here. All the role mods down south, brain scouting away, and they're busy, my work. I'm running manuals on us, I'm riding them, man. Come to tea, them robots. I was hard to chomp, chomp, chomp on that steel. Mmm, taste. What? Where'd you learn about electronics and robots? <laughs> my manner is that when I was five, I was going to my aunt. She was like, You like computers? I was like, I like computers. It's great. She wasn't. Let's say she's not so on particularly fond memories. So she kept cooking on dress up and the boobies. was gross. <laughs> She made a big show taking me in and resent me for the rest of her life. Then saw Meg Gavin from the dome. She was selling wieners. I was responsible for everything that went through wrong in life. She was such a selfish model. She gave up everything for me. Mind you, I never did want to see what it was that she gave up. But she certainly seems she made a big sacrifice. I don't understand, though. That was my childhood, basically. Being told I should be grateful was the same as giving up happiness for my sake. I was like, I'm just a kid. I just want some candy. There were no other kids playing, which you saw that. So all I had was books. Books and old Mr. Handy. I found them on Bond back. And I spent most of my childhood in that Bond reading, trying to get old robot running. Oh my god, you should have seen that robot. I had to work it all out from the wiring diagram up was the day that thing spoke for the first time I'd have pissed my pants and scream happy Jesus. Well as soon as I could leave home with this, I just confirm my gratitude and I was gone and once well, she was right, I was like, Fuck you. Couldn't wait to see the back of that bitch. Made her way over to Blast Go the Institute. Very face place, those spots is a good place. When they were more handy and they took me in on spots all jerking me off. It was gonna jump man. They had a lot of brain more tech there, and some guys who knew I was using there were like, you press up switch and the lights go on. I was like, wow, lights. It was a good education there, no doubt about it. It was like a release. We finally ever gave a chance to show what I could do. It was great. I had a great time. Why'd you leave? Why didn't you go for speaking lessons? I uh, made an elementary mistake, got involved with a co-worker, the woman who had land, be precise, stick my little wing-wang in the chamber chunk. all the time, well, it's a bit embarrassing, really, I was young and she was certainly smart, well-read, I could talk to her with my chamber chunk. over time I started to realize I was twin some and she was for some. and when I had, she started to get green. I guess I treated her pretty badly when I was not young girls, but kept stringing her nose, stupid, I was like this little baby wearing diapers, when she finally had enough, she'd kick me out, I only got myself to blame for that one, I'm sorry, I got my chamber chain everywhere. No, that doesn't make it easy, though. I've been running out of place by now. I've been running it like a man in a man suit. Anyway, I made the best of it by setting myself up as a general repair man. Got good business going pretty quickly. Everyone was like, can you obey my toes? I was like, yeah, when you good at what you do when you do it for a long time? How people coming in from all over some of Jim Jam. He was working with some security outfit up there and started coming in for repairs. It was good. We hit it off right away like a baseball bat hitting a bound. We gotta be good friends. You used to go out drinking off. So when he went off to Town, the homie and bit me hard. I was like, maybe I'll join Town comes. Then one day he was back in the shop. Come and join Town comes. And then just when see someone like you, I was like, why don't we fix some toasters? Well, Jazz, do something great rather than patching up all the people's jungles. Too good to miss. Rest history. Here I am, George Washington. Town's a murk company. What's the attraction for someone like you? Well, the money's not good. My best friend works here. It's pretty freezy. But, you know, it works out good. Everyone likes here. It's like, you know, play some chick checks. If anything, the work is a bit too simple, though. But that leads me quite a bit to my some elf. I sometimes draw pigeons. Sometimes I, I suppose being big fish, small ponds is appeal, too. Because I like fish. Sometimes I look at shark pictures. 
But for someone of your talents, isn't it a bit of a waste? Hmm? If I'm an Amsterdam student, I would agree with you. I was doing some essential work that day. I made a robot duck to fly and poop and people. But, well, I blew that one. Now, so I made best things. Like I said, best I could do the same time working as a bad man, fix paper toasters. At least here, I'll be able to do some actual styles and all the components, you know, fixing them and toast the babies. What about somewhere like Rivet City? They have a science lab. Bunch of bleeding hot stuff. I thought the same way that town's trying to help people. Whoever asked for you know, the assistance. Science I do is for the sake of knowledge. Period. If it's gonna help people, then it should be that deserve it. It's not a bunch of wasteland scum trying to fix your own, you doofus. Think any of those dross and wasteland care about the scientists and all these? They make any contribution, send us some money? No. But they'll line up taking food and water, assuming they're gonna cheat out of anything those crazy ducks. Let's face it. I'm not very likely. The science lab has ever been there as long as a cow in the wasteland. What's they've got done? Nothing. Butch child of Zach. This is a big old boat. If I keep talking like this, I'm gonna just stop being able to talk and I'm gonna talk like that forever. Agreed. The last thing we need is a bunch of parasites living off the river. It may be unspoken, but I'm sure most folks agree for people like Dr. Lee. Grads, we will use that. Oh, I'm sure that they wouldn't mind to get their hand out. We'll use that. There's a bunch of douchebags. Resource waste by the likes to leave better use of support the race of parasites. Maybe the old world out of spare for use of these is weird. Only human race now is about two portions. Useful and useless. And anyone with a skill town will waste those gifts and use of support is committing crimes against humanity. That's an interesting pistol. I've never seen anything like it before. Oh, he knows that. Yeah, it's a nice little song to put together myself. Put two flashlights to spend, put them in some tape, and it was a bam bam. After one through town's mandatory weapon training programs, I knew I was never going to be able to make much of a solo as I was one of them. If I hadn't been an essential, then for sure I'd been kicked out, regardless of any recommendation from Jim. You know, man? Not exactly top marks. Ha ha! Ta! All the same, it's not work. One never knows what's around the next going, so I thought I would get myself a bit of a level. Of course, the crappy talent coming out of was new use. Plants I was the best thing I could find. I was like, boom, boom. I was like, this ain't good. I took one look at the unstabilization shape and said, no thanks, better than this in design. Besides, I don't want to look something like that around. So I was like, look at the lace pistols they had. The little baby pistols. I was like, these are nice. How they appear to crude as well, but I could see them easy where they could be improved. So I put some screws in there, a little pull around, pop, pop. I'd count my three pistols and, uh, you know, obtain the surprise sense of electronics. Keep it to yourself, though. I'll kick you in the mouth. Far great efficiency, high as you put proof frequency rays that it can talk to your mother. Crystal chamber subjects made of iron diffusion, but within of them, the family is the reverse. You know, if you want to shoot people and bring back life, fairly believes the result. Give materials, fellow, I think it's a good job. I have some gear that needs repaired. <laughs> Look at all these things that are going on. Alright, so I have to ask Braddock. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, but I'm... That I am not at oh. liberty to chat right now. Hey, you talk, so I don't have to talk. Hey, wait, can I go... Wait a minute. Good to see you. Don't you shut up. Oh. Well, hello. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, sorry I killed all the mutants. They were listening to the mutants. They're all dead now. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Hey, Braddock. I was going to look for you. Sir, I hope everything's to your satisfaction. I just would like help uh, getting some chemicals. Will you let me help him? Ugh, Tony's been on about that fucking school ever since I told him about it. Oh, pardon me. I guess, yes, if it shuts him up about the damn place, then he can go. But listen here, I don't care if they think you're a VIP back at HQ. I don't care how much money you put into the big project. Arthur's is an important asset for Talon Company, and also happens to be a personal friend of mine. If you let something happen to him, well, let's just say you can forget about coming back here again. This is extremely irregular. It's only because he's my friend I think you can handle yourself. But on that condition, yes, you can go. Later. Bye-bye. Ooh, chemistry set. Mm, Mr. Robot, we're gonna have the best of times. Alright. How's it? Braddock says it's okay to get these chemicals here. Let's go. Excellent. Well, this will be an adventure. You know what I'm thinking? It's on now. If I'm taking you over there, I'm in charge. Got it? 
Oh god, you know my mind is kind of thing now. I'm gonna put myself in your hands. So where are we going? Oh crap. This place called Silver Spring. Apparently it's up north somewhere. You know, we'll have to get to a view of Metro Tunnels. Oh, I hate you. This line that runs from Tacoma Station. The team managed to clear a path through a short while ago. According to the map I was given, if that's the right way to describe the route to Tacoma Station is from Vernon Square. We're never finding this. I'm not next about the layout of the city, but if you need help, just ask. I'll do the best mile says. You know how to get to Vernon Square? We have to get to Pennsylvania Avenue. From there, there's a lot of Vernon Square via Freedom Street, Perry Street. Jesus Christ. Penn to Freedom to Vernon to Tacoma to somewhere else. Ah. I don't know. <clears throat> hey. Come on. Hey. Morning. Uh, we came. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I thought that was going to be an invisible wall. I'm really surprised. Okay. <clears throat> hello. I swear to God, if you say hello. hello. Oh my God. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Alright, um. Hmm. Crap. Dickwad, come on, man. That's the medical station. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if that door opens. You guys didn't bother cleaning the floor up at all. Disgrace. Alright, um... I'll probably be asking him a lot. Something on your mind? No. Arthur's, this is Vanessa. Vanessa, this is Arthur's. Wolfbot, this is Arthur's. Arthur's, this is Wolfbot. Is everyone got something on your mind? Yeah, we're going. Let's go. I'm right behind you. All right. Well, don't look at my ass. All right, Jesus. Come on. Let's uh, go. All right. So, um, ah. Uh, This is just gonna be. This is a really huge ass mod, so. Um. Yeah, I might stop here. So if the video stops here, I stopped. And if it doesn't, well, then I didn't stop. So. Surprise. No. No, 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 I can't stop like that. Damn you, Al Chess Breach. Damn you! Hey. Wow! <laughs> You've been debugged. Bye.